was a sight for my soul. Bangkok is the most visited city in the world, with approximately 20 million visitors per year. The city is home to one of the most unique and explosive street food scenes in Southeast Asia, and the people are funny, friendly, and welcoming to tourists. Sometimes a little bit too much so. That being said, there are a surprising number of laws that you need to know before visiting Bangkok. Number 1. Don't hug monks. Because monks are held in such high regard in Thai culture, it is forbidden in society to be positioned higher than a monk. In addition to this, monks aren't even allowed to hand anything to women, or even touch them. If a monk needs to hand something to a woman, he'll set it down for her to pick up herself. And on buses, monks aren't allowed to sit directly next to a woman, and they'll stand up and move if one does. How crazy is that? Number 2. Don't step on Thai currency. Because Thailand is a monarchy, it is illegal to step on any Thai currency, whether it's a coin or a note, because it carries an image of the king, and it's seen as incredibly rude and disrespectful. Number 3. The Durian Fruit This law is more funny than practical, but in Thailand it is illegal to use the durian fruit as a weapon, and the fine will be determined by how many of the fruit's thorns strike the victim. The more you know, right? Number 4. Don't use tuk-tuks. Now this isn't something that you have to avoid while in Bangkok, but chances are if you try and use a tuk-tuk, you'll end up getting ripped off, because there are a number of scams you can be involved with. Usually what will happen is you'll get in a tuk-tuk and you'll say something like the Grand Palace, which is a popular destination, and the driver will respond by saying that it's closed, under renovation, or they're not allowing tourists, which is totally untrue. He'll then offer a secondary location to take you to, in which he gets a cut for bringing you there and or for anything that you buy. So you can take a tuk-tuk, but it could get you into some trouble. Number 5. Don't whistle at night. There are a lot of superstitions in Thai culture, and while whistling is something you do in America when you're bored, whistling in Thailand is said to summon demons and spirits. So if you're out in Bangkok casually whistling as you walk down the street, you're gonna get some weird looks. Number 6. Don't disrespect the Buddha. Because Thailand is a predominantly Buddhist country, buying or using the Buddha symbol as merchandise, decoration, tattoo, or owning a Buddha head is strictly forbidden. And you'll see a similar sign of this at the airport on arrival. Keep in mind, taking pictures is okay, but I would hold off on anything beyond that. Number 7. Avoid Pat Pong. Pat Pong is one of Bangkok's infamous red light districts, and it's notorious for ripping people off. I think it's interesting to walk at least one of these areas just to get a feel for what that side of the city is like. But coming to this shady area of the city means you'll be constantly accosted by waitresses and working girls who line the sides of the street waiting for tourists. Number 8. Don't shake hands. Thai people are very respectful about other people's personal space, and rather than shaking hands, the way to greet someone is to place both of your palms flat together against your chest and bow slightly. This is called why. It is important not to bow to children or a person of lower status, however. This is considered embarrassing to them. Number 9. Don't be afraid to challenge prices. When you're dealing with small shops and street stalls, you're gonna have to look out for the dual price system. That's where they have one price for foreigners and one price for local Thai. Usually it's about double for foreigners. The easiest way to find this out is to go to a couple different stalls and ask about the same product to see if there's any difference in price. The other way, and this is a must if you're in Asia, is to learn how to haggle. Usually you'll start at about 50% of what he quotes you, and then you and him will negotiate to about halfway in between that. Number 10. Always carry identification. Now this is a very rare occurrence, so I don't want to make this seem like it happens all the time, but I have had people tell me that they've been stopped by Thai police who have demanded to see their passports, and if they don't have them, then they charge them a fine. These are typically corrupt police who are just looking for some extra money. Even though this probably won't happen to you, the best way to avoid this is always bring a photocopy of your passport with you. I wouldn't advocate bringing your actual passport in case of pickpockets. That guy is definitely up to something. <laughs> That's the face of someone with a plan. <laughs> Number 11. Don't leave the house without underwear. Like many countries, Thailand has some weird old laws that just haven't gone away yet, that no one really enforces or adheres by. The funniest of which is the law that makes it illegal to leave the house without wearing underwear. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? Okay. 
So guys, that's about it for the video. If you stuck around to the end, thank you. It really means a lot. Uh, click the video on the top left to see 11 things you should never do while in Tokyo, Japan. And click the video on the bottom left to watch me get lost while trying to explore the city of Kathmandu, Nepal.